All I ask is that you don't bang the table because that'll scrap the CD. I won't bang the table. Okay, <laughs> Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to uh, a pretty nice afternoon of Talk to Time with Harrison Young. It's February 10th, and it's storming out there. Uh, we're going to be in the 50s on Saturday. Woohoo! And uh, as usual, just to keep up with the weather, I have a really um, well, I guess tonight, as you can see, beautiful lady here, young lady, uh, she's got a, quite a story to tell. She's an actress. She was Miss Collegiate Vermont of 2018 to 2019, and we'll get to that when we talk to her. But before we do, we've got to read these great underwriters, and then we will commence per usual. So, we got Lynch's Towing Auto Cycle and Truck Center in Brockton, one number for towing, one number for projects. we got A1's Tire and Auto Center in Brockton, uh, always in search of new talent for uh, service techs and service writers. Uh, we got John's Greenhouses and Flora Shop in Brockton. We got Caribbean Breeze Tanning Salon in Norton. We got Auto Town Auto Glass installed in Abington. We got RW Carpet and Flooring in Norton, covering floors for 50 plus years. We got Speedy Oil Change in Abington. We got Eastern Fitness right in the Village Shops in Northeastern. We got Grant's Rental in Bridgewater. We got Doggy Boutique, all breed professional grooming in Brockton, run by my great next door neighbor, Debbie Siddell. We got the Gun Runner LLC in Middleborough, dedicated to your Second Amendment rights for customers and friends. And we got Joe's Diner in Taunton. I want to thank you guys very much, and now on that note, I will <laughs> introduce this lovely young lady, uh, Hallie Grace. Uh, yeah. She is uh, someone that I found uh, a few weeks ago, and I asked her to do my show, and she was delighted. She's beaming as we speak, as you can see. <laughs> We're going to talk to her. We might look a, a little demo reel of her acting, um, and, I'm, and as like I do with every guest, I'm going to you know, investigate, profile her, find out <laughs> how she got started, and how, it, you know, why, how it's continuing, and how, she's, how she makes it go. So, Allie, first, I want to thank you for coming up here from wherever you came from. I'm not really sure, but you can tell me if you want to. That's, uh, it's totally up to you. <laughs> thank being... you. Thank you so much for having me. I'm excited to be here. Okay. It wasn't that bad of a drive. It was totally worth it. So. I, I, oh, I agree. I couldn't argue, I'd argue if I could. Um, <laughs> and you're obviously a, a mass resident now. Yes, you're, sir, I am. You're a mass sport. Before. Okay, that's good. That made I it am. easier. Because I wasn't officially. sure whether you were coming from Vermont to Connecticut because <laughs> I've, I've seen it looks like for the last few days you've been in both those locations. Oh, I'm always all over. Right, exactly. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> kind of like, uh, you know, kind of like flypaper. Yeah, <laughs> but in a good exactly. Way. Okay. Well, let's talk about your history. Now, you told me a few minutes ago that you, you were born in a family of military people and nurses as well. Yes, sir. Okay. Well, tell, tell me about your childhood. Where did you grow up? What did it entail? And how did it lead to what you're doing now? If I have any questions, I'll roll them in and then we'll, you know, we'll, cut, we'll catch up with all the situations that are pertaining to you and then we'll possibly watch a little demo reel about halfway through, so go ahead. Wonderful. Okay. Um, all right, I guess I was born in California. Wow. As well as my sister. I have four siblings, so okay. there's a lot of us. Okay. Um, and by the time I was two, I'd already moved to three states. Um, you want to name them? I can name them. Go ahead. California, Virginia, and Mass. So I okay. did move to Mass when I was younger. You, co you covered a lot of turf as a child, as I a baby. did. I wow. definitely did. Turf cover and toddler. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Um, and then we ended up in Virginia because okay. my father was stationed at the Pentagon. Okay. And that was for about 12 years, I want to say. Wow. And then we moved to Vermont later on so I could do high school. Um, and then we were. Oh, all right, let's back up a second. Now, your father was, he obviously had a pretty important position if he was stationed at the Pentagon in Virginia. He did. So, why did you end up going to the sticks of Vermont from, from Virginia? What was, the, what was the reasoning for that? Just curious. It's funny you said it. it was a bit of a point of contention in my family. My, um, my mom wanted to go towards the cold, and it was close to my dad's family as well. Okay. So, we, we decided to pick up and transition later on in life. We talked about it for a long time, but we didn't put it into action until I was going from eighth grade into my freshman year of high school. So. Okay, and I, looking at you, I'd say that couldn't have been too long ago. No, it was, um, I graduated early. I graduated when I was 17 oh, from high school. Okay, but I graduated at 17 too, but I had oh, lunch, you did it. Well, I only graduated at 17 because I didn't turn 18 till the fall. Right. And we graduate in June. But I'm getting, a, I'm getting a hunch from you. You probably graduated prematurely because you're, you're you know, a genius. I don't know well, about you, all that. Well, did you, well, it sounds to me like you got some, Really spank, spanking high grades in your SATs or something that enabled you to do that or some kind of aptitude you know, test, correct? You want to know a secret? I actually never I took love, I love secrets. Go ahead. Yeah, <laughs> I never took the SATs. So well, right, all right. Well, you, well, I'm saying is you must have, <laughs> I'm guessing you placed high on a test somewhere, correct? 
Um, when I tried, I was very good at taking tests. That's, uh -huh. that's true. I was very okay, good at Okay, I'm good at taker. figuring stuff out. <laughs> Not much, but that. <laughs> no, you're good at figuring Thank stuff out. Thank you. Okay. Don't worry. <laughs> All right, so that's so you graduated at 17. I and did. So you, and that was Vermont, and you obviously, uh, obviously the stick, the, you love the mountains, right? They're very beautiful. You're like beautiful. a mountain lady, kind of. <laughs> okay. They're very beautiful there. We, um, they are. We were, my grandmother, was, who was living with us at the time, she got sick. And yeah. then my grandfather, who was living in Mass, he got sick. So it was a back and forth between the two. And then in order to handle both, we just decided to move kind of to Mass to okay. live with him. They both passed. We're still in that house, so yeah, it's yeah. kind of... <clears throat> it's been crazy. Um, yeah, yeah. But I lived in my grandparents' house too. I inherited it, and then I moved. I lived there 28 years, and then I moved into my current address for the last 14 years. Wow. Which is 10 minutes from here. So yeah. That's crazy. But that's my story. But yeah, okay. Yeah, I know. It's I know how it is story. though in a family. What? No, yeah. I mean, it is. It can be pretty crazy. I mean, I growing up in a military family, we've. Uh, we've always moved around a lot. Okay, is your father, are your parents still in the military? Your father? No. Okay, Hallie. So, <laughs> like I was saying, tell me about what that Miss Collegiate uh, 2019 was, or 28, whatever year it was that you won. Yes. What exactly um, did that entail? Miss Vermont Collegiate America 2019 okay. was a system that I competed in. It was um, introduced to me because my sister's best friend was the previous title holder. And we actually got into it. it when I first started competing, it was my sister and I. And okay. um, actually, funny story. What funny stories? Go on. <laughs> I met um, Miss Universe's mom on a plane when I was 16, before wow. I ever knew anything about pageants. Okay. She was dating Nick Jonas at the time, uh, Olivia Culpo. I don't know if anyone, I mean. It's all right. I know Nick Jonas. Yeah. I could have interviewed him in my, um, my one at show I did many years ago. But yeah. Show for another day. Awesome. Okay. Uh, she's extremely By the way, okay, beautiful. You know, I, can, I can see you as Miss Universe. Oh, <laughs> thank you. But go on. You're too nice. <laughs> thank you. Um, but. But I talked to her. She was wonderful. We were talking about her daughter and how her daughter got into it. And, and um, I had no interest in pageants at this point. I've, I've wanted to act my whole life, but okay. never got into it until later. And um, it's interesting that she was like, you should get into pageants. You know, my Olivia did yep. at that age. People always told her that she should. Um, and I think you should too. Nothing happened for a long time. Um, we got back. It was a birthday trip. Um, we got back to Vermont. And my well, sister's best friend. Where were you friend, going when you met Nick Jonas's uh, girlfriend's mother or Miss Universe's? I met her mom on a plane to California. She was going because Nick and her just broke up. Okay. I don't know if I should be discussing this. Who cares? It is what it is. Yeah. It, it happened. It happened. All right. We don't and want to. Susan, we don't want to talk if you're watching this, I want to, I'm Hi. trying to find out about <laughs> what, what the circumstances were surrounding your trip to California, though. Oh my! Oh, it that, was just um. Just going back to see people that you knew before. No, so I actually moved from California very young. Right, um, right, but you went. You were talking about late years later when you didn't want to do a pageant until you met this woman that was. No, it's funny. I didn't think anything even okay. when I met her. But uh, I was going uh, to California every year for every. It's kind of all right. Ridiculous, no, you, don't to, you don't have to. You don't have to elaborate too much. I just want to find out how you won that pageant. Oh, okay. So yeah. later on in life, um, yeah. my sister's best friend. They needed girls to compete okay. in the pageant, and um, my sister and I did it. Yep. I got first runner-up. Wow. I don't know if she placed, honestly, I don't remember, starring Michaela. But um, ever since that pageant, I, I really loved what their platform stood for, which was an anti-bullying platform. It was building respect and values for everyone. It's awesome. Yeah, it was really wonderful. I and a lot, so I get it. Oh, really? Yeah. Well, I mean, that's why it's great to have these campaigns in place, it because is. everybody gets a voice. Everybody has someone that is able to advocate for them, yep. you know, because not everybody can do that. I know. So um, I was really interested in that pageant system. Okay. And eventually, a few years later, I, I, was, I was really trying hard. I was competing every year. I wasn't winning. And when I finally, when I finally won, I was so excited. I knew, I knew that I didn't want to win to be... Um, I mean, there was no chance, but I, I knew I didn't want to win to be Miss Collegiate America. I just wanted to promote my platform. Okay. And uh, I actually ended up winning Miss Congeniality at, at Nationals, and um, I was the first contestant, correct me if I'm wrong, but I was the first contestant that um, everybody voted for me, like every too. single girl voted for me, which was, which was crazy. That's great. Um, yeah, so I mean, it was, it was really a great time, and I think because of that, it's, I went in there not to win, but just... To have a good time, and because okay. um, I was really proud of my platform, and you know, so well, yeah. Okay, now where were the where was the pageant held? I know in Vermont, but where in Vermont? Oh, in Vermont, it was held 
I mean, was uh, it at, was it at a school? Was it at a so a national? Do you mean or something like it, like in, like a, a, a you know like an a, one of those uh, auditoriums where they have uh, events? An auditorium. Okay, yeah. you don't that remember was, the name of it. If not, that's fine. I don't because it was th different places every year. Oh yeah, yeah. But nationals was held in Ohio. Okay, did you go there? Was it Ohio? Oh my God, I should remember this. Okay. It was held. It was held somewhere southern. <laughs> it was held where? It was held Arkansas, not oh, Ohio. Arkansas, okay. Arkansas, and it was so beautiful. Yeah. Apparently not beautiful enough for me to remember the name, but no, it was right. genuinely beautiful. You the state, at least. Yeah, right. Okay. Um, and that was amazing. I remember I was doing auditions in my hotel room. I lost my voice, and I got a call back for this audition in L.A. Yep. And that was what I cared about more than the pageant system itself. I mean, I retired after winning, but um, I was so excited to get this call back, but I lost my voice, so I was sitting in my hotel room. Wait, screaming, screaming with excitement? Sing, yeah. okay. And like singing, trying to sing for this call back, and I never heard anything because my voice was just, oh, wow. it was just, it was gone, so. Okay, well I'm sure that, I'm sure that, you know, you know what, you know what, I'm looking at you and I'm thinking, you, 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 my thinking is you didn't want, some, some, some divine providence force said didn't, didn't want you to burn yourself out too much. So they took your voice away just so you wouldn't end up overdoing it and then becoming so obsessed with pageants that you started overlooking the more important things yeah. like the priorities. So that's what I think probably happened. Yeah. And there's always plenty of time for more pageants as you go on anyway. Oh, no, no, no. I, if you want I, them. If you I, want, that's fine too. And you already realized that. Yeah. I okay. mean, even when I, I competed for the Miss Vermont USA system okay. or for the Miss USA system and I still carried over my anti-bullying platform that was like just something that was really personal to me and something that I felt of course that that like but I was actually told I, I mean don't get me wrong I think that pageants are full of very strong beautiful smart women but I was told that my platform because it was anti-bullying was too young and I'm like but anti-bullying is very real at every age I, I don't agree with that so I was like I'm not doing that system anymore and quite frankly I I didn't do pageants because I wanted to be a pageant queen. I, I okay. genuinely did enjoy, I mean, I loved dressing up, but I loved meeting people. I loved, you know, fighting for something, working towards something. It was a great challenge. You're not a superficial person, I get it. I, I hope not. No, I, no, you're not. I can tell. Okay. <laughs> All right. Well, that's wonderful. So how did it end up piling that into acting? Oh, I've wanted to act literally my entire life. Okay. Um, oh, did you, now did you go, now what college did you go to? Uh, I actually or was taking classes, so I was doing um, the Community College of Vermont, but I was doing it during high school. Okay. Um, and then after I graduated, I was taking a few more classes, just getting my prereqs out of the way for nursing, trying to be smart about it. Okay. And then when everything happened with my grandmother and my grandfather, we were back and forth, back and forth, okay. and I started taking, I took my first acting class now that I was 18. Okay. Um, and I had an opportunity to when be did an you take extra. The that was at Boston Casting, which oh. I love. I love Boston Casting I know, so much. they got me some stuff. Yeah, they're wonderful. They are. Um, and there's so many great people a part of it. I mean, every casting agency in this area has been really wonderful to me. Um, and that's not me just saying that. I mean, I, I've had, I just love being on set. Even if I'm just an extra, it's like the most euphoric experience ever. Yeah, because it's what I love doing. Yeah. Right. You, you, you interact well and you come across well. Right. Okay. So it's like. I'm just, I'm just happy for the opportunity, you know. And, all right. Let's speaking of opportunities. How many about how many have you had since you, you know, started doing these auditions, and taking classes at Boston Casting, which I assume kind of goes together with auditions. Yeah. Well, um, I've had quite a few opportunities. All right. If you don't, for know, sure. that's fine. That's, that's what I wanted to hear you say. If you yeah. lost them, that's fine. No, I definitely. I mean, I've had. In the beginning, in the beginning, when I st I uh, signed up with Backstage. Okay, uh, just, all right, all right. You know what? Why don't we hold that story? We're gonna watch a little demo reel of yours. Sure. And then, and when we're done with that, we're gonna talk about all that stuff. Okay. Okay. I right, say so without further ado, we're gonna watch a little of Hallie's demo reel, and we'll be right back. Don't Wonderful. go away. <laughs> As you decide. Was I old enough when I was fourteen? And you decided to leave me with Anna to fend for ourselves? Please, I was there. But were you really? You may have been present, yes. But were you really there for us? How about when Anna was admitted to children's hospitals for two months? Were you the one who had to go from school to work just to end up in a hospital, exhausted, sleeping in a chair, every night so that Anna had someone with her? Jamie, stop. 
Dad wants to come back. Do you even know who Anna's best friends are? Her favorite subject in school? How about what she wants to be when she grows up? A rehab doctor. Where do you think she picked that up? But Jamie... No, Anna. I can handle this. You've been handling everything for as long as I can remember. Maybe it's time to let someone else do a little. You've been like a mom to me, but... Do you know what time it is? Neither do I. Oh, no wait, it's time for you to pay your tab. Uh, give me another shot of vodka. Cash or card? Shit. Have you seen my wallet or my phone? Yeah. Yeah, I haven't. Great. Ah, you know what they say. Can't take it with We're going in a different direction. Ah, Justice. I'm so glad my agent got me on here tonight. We have someone new lined up right here. <sighs> Thank you. I've been under this tyranny for too long. Night after night, I get berated, talked down to. But do you know what? I'm a person. And you don't see me as that. I'm mean, just your punching line, your punch back. But not anymore. No, it's over for you. I'm going to have my own show. Oh, sorry. No, we met Melly. That's why oh. she's our guest tonight. Uh -oh. <laughs> yeah, I forgot. <laughs> oh my God, I'm so excited. Um, I just want to say thank you, first and foremost, for this opportunity of a lifetime. Um, I'm probably gonna get like a lot more followers now. More than you, more than you, and I don't even know you, so <laughs> definitely more than you. Um, and I don't know, I think, honestly, I don't think anybody watches TV anymore, so we should probably just make it an online show and cut the cord. We'll discuss it off air. Okay. Jean, you'll stay on with the show, right? In case we need another shakeup. Glenn, get off my set. Show's over. Cut to commercial, Don. You call this a life? Eating his fucking chicken? Fattening up like a prize fucking heifer? Buying your dollies and your knickknacks? You change the scenery days, but not the situation and the warden makes house calls. And everybody knows. Everybody knows. That he fucks you. But what they don't know is that you like it. Hmm? You like it. You like being Mrs. Randone. Probably all you've ever known. No one tells me what to do, honey. <sighs> this takes me back. Whenever you lose, like you or me, it's always our no, really. You seem familiar. You seem a bit too old for that. He was a gift. Sorry? No, um, it's fine. Here. <laughs> what I like best about you is how romantic you can be. <laughs> Thanks. I get that a lot. I'm super warm, personable, talented, and good at just about everything. And I heard you won the Nobel Peace Prize. I won them all, actually. Peace, literature, science, the rest. <laughs> Weird, right? They say you get used to it. Who says? Well? <laughs> Ha ha ha!
You're saying you'd like to keep our planet on the track to a slow but very real apocalypse oh, just to please. make your shopping a little easier? No, don't. Okay, don't do that. All right, I'll be long dead. <laughs> You'll be here when the Arctic melts. <laughs> okay, it's not melting. All right. Do any of you at least believe that plastic is harmful? Oh, really? Uh, oh, unless it winds up in the ocean. Oh, yeah, yeah. it shouldn't be in the ocean. Mm -hmm. I mean, they're toxic. They're toxic to humans. They're harming us right now, and we're just blissfully unaware. <laughs> if I may, uh, gorgeous. Um, do you think the only way that a plastic bag can harm someone is if it did something like this? All right, that was beautiful. Tell me about what we just watched. Um. Go ahead. You tell, <laughs> I tell me about what you remember. The so okay, take your time. before no I had. Before I actually had enough footage to put on my demo reel, yep. again, I, apparently I'm just gushing about Boston Casting in this interview, but um, I was fortunate enough to take a demo reel class at Boston Casting, um, and I worked with this little girl named Maggie. She's wonderful. She's a wonderful actress. You might know her, Maggie Patricia. She's young, yeah. I don't she's know very her. She's Facebook friends. Um, she probably, she probably doesn't even remember like me. She's 14, so... <laughs> oh, okay. Well, she, I mean, honestly, it's probably weird that I'm talking about her. She probably doesn't remember me, but she played my little sister. And okay. like, it, that was her first, correct me if I'm wrong, that was her first opportunity acting. And okay. she was just amazing. Like, I, it was so easy to, to act Work with her. Yeah. And, and um, it was just, she was just wonderful. It was a great experience. And that's the first piece of footage that I have on my reel. I honestly don't remember the rest off the top of my head, but okay. that is, um, that is a piece that I'm pretty proud of, mostly because she's so wonderful. I'm really glad I had the chance to work with her. Okay, well, she was wonderful in the real, and that's the important thing. Okay, and you were too. <laughs> okay. All right, well, what's going on now? Tell me, tell me as much about what you can, about what you're doing currently that we can talk about without giving too much away. Any projects that you happen to be working on? Um, you know? Well, go ahead. Well, no, you just you tell me. Is it, and, and that includes, now, you're not modeling anymore at all, right? Or are you? Just depends on if people ask me or not. No. I mean, that's not where my passion is. My I like, understand acting then. Yeah, it's All right, pretty well, much talk just about acting. Whatever, just talk about one of the things that you're currently working on. Talk about what you've done in the last several months, like say going back to like last summer, if, if you can, just so, you know, just so we can get a get a you know ballpark idea. Yeah, um, I have been very fortunate lately, knock on wood, to have received many um, opportunities lately, and I'm and I'm so grateful for them. Every single one of them, I'm so passionate about. I, I normally go after roles that challenge me, okay. not only as an actress, but as a person. And um, What kind of roles do you prefer? I mean, you, I mean, conviction roles, something like that. I can see it was kind of, I, kind of like <laughs> a beautiful one, femme fatale, a beautiful girl who turns out to be, you know, a bad, on, bad on the inside, and we find <laughs> out at the end, but then she somehow turns her life around and becomes good at the end. <laughs> I don't know, something <laughs> like that. I, I mean, almost a dark comedy kind of thing. That would be that would be a great experience. I'd love to write it's, a script for you. Believe oh, me. yes, write a script for me. I'd love to, okay, I'd love well, to do it. It's a deal. We'll try it. All right. Okay. Knuckles. Knuckles. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, I actually prefer roles that don't frame me in a very good light. Um, okay. And by that I mean just challenging roles where yep. my character is extremely emotional. She's going through something, and um, she has a lot of obstacles. I love sad roles, which is so. <laughs> sad to say, um, but I think that they really showcase my talents, and I find that as an actress, I think that I'm normal, normally, I'm very careful about how I show my emotions okay. to people, but um, when I act, I can just be, I can just flow Little all of those. Little fly out, right? Yeah, exactly. Okay. So, Cry on cue, laugh on cue. Yeah. Scream those, on cue. Exactly. Okay, you know, oh, yeah, speaking of, I was actually just in um in a Scream fan film. Okay, talk about who, that if you would. Yes, um, Mark J. Parker, he's wonderful. He directed it and, um, and wrote it. He's okay. amazing, he loves doing horror films. And I was cast as Alana, who was the secretary with Final Girl Energy, because I, because I lived and everyone else died. Okay. But um, I got to scream, which was exciting. That was, oh, that was not my first time actually. It was my second time screaming, but um, it was a great. It was a great opportunity. I felt like everyone worked really well together, and Scream is such a great franchise. I was like, wow, this is so cool. This is. I just. I love doing stuff like that. Oh, that's great. Okay. Yeah. How about comedy? Do you do comedy? 
Um, I do enjoy comedy, but it's not the first thing that I'll apply to. Oh, Even understand. though, naturally, I feel like, I'm not saying I'm funny, I'm just saying I'm like a little funny. You like the like stand-up comedians? I do, I love stand-up. I, I do, I love Kevin Hart. I, I mean, love Seinfeld. Any Seinfeld's. females that you might be, be inspired by? Any, any women comedians that, you, that you're maybe overly fond of? Is it bad that I don't, I don't like have stand-up any comedians? Like stand-up comedians, anyone you can think of offhand? <laughs> no. You know who Sarah Silverman is? I, I think so, actually, yes. She's actually from New Hampshire. She's... And she's and she's my cousin. Oh no, kidding! Yeah. I, I she's got dark black hair, right? Yes. Yeah. No, she's very beautiful. I, I know who you're talking about. Yeah. Um, but I've only seen her. I think I've never seen her stand up, but I've seen her in roles. Yeah, like on Seinfeld. Yeah, was she in Seinfeld? Yeah, she was Kramer's girlfriend, Jimmy Legs. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no way. Yeah. That's so funny. It's been so long. I know. That was that was 25 years ago, 1997. Wow. That's amazing. That's <laughs> so yeah, funny. Yeah, no, it is. Okay. <laughs> All right. Well, so what do you so what do you what do your days look like now? What do you how are you now? Well, I'm just wondering. Do you, now, when you were in school, did you are you look very athletic? Did you play sports at all? Were you cheerle <laughs> a cheerleader at all, or any of that stuff um, in high school? No, I we didn't have a cheerleading team at my high school. I, I pushed well, I for it. I can't you didn't start one. I tried. I tried. I, tried. I, I, I give you credit for that. I tried. Okay, okay, but people there they're not cheerleader fans. They weren't into it, so that didn't go through. Um, at my middle school, it was a very big middle school in Virginia. Okay. And when I tell you I tried so hard to make that team, I did not make the team. Okay. I did not make the cheerleading team. But in here, I was a cheerleader. In I believe here. it. In yeah. here. Well, I, you cheer, I, you, you're a cheer, you, <laughs> cheer, you were singing my praises today. <laughs> and that's, and that means a lot. Okay, well, so what now I was going to say was, what do your days look like now? How, do you, how are you spending your time with your work now? I mean, acting regularly, different. I mean, even without giving too much away about what roles you have, what do you, what, what, how many projects are you working on currently? Well, actually, I'm allowed to talk about this one. This oh, Sunday, this Sunday in Connecticut, actually, I'm going to be filming um, a short film called The Jackpot Hit, which is okay. really wonderful. I'm really excited for people to watch it. I was actually cast last minute. Sweet. Um, and I'm playing. Desiree, so I'm really, really oh, looking forward to it. Yeah. <laughs> um, I'm looking forward to that. Let me think of what else I have going on. I have Breakup Alley, which I can't talk too okay. much about, but I'm so excited to be a part of this. I, I love the writer and the director so much. She's so wonderful. I mean, there's two women um, kind of in charge of Breakup Alley right now, and they're both such wonderful people. I'm really looking forward to working with them. We actually just shot our trailer recently, which is really exciting, and um, the promo shots came out. They look amazing. We, we haven't released them yet. I'm not, but, um, okay. but yeah, so. That's okay. That's fine. Yeah. All right. So that's wonderful. So I, I'm, I'm getting I'm getting some information. All right. Yeah. Oh, that's great. Okay. Um, so that's, so, so you still working with Boston Casting? And they, obviously, I'm assuming you're on your mailing list. And I, I am. To be honest, yep. I love you, Boston Casting. They used to cast me all the time as extra roles. Um, they don't really do it anymore, which is okay. That's okay. Well, I, I don't have as much time anyway. You'll get a bigger but, role. You, right. You, you got, you, everything you do is, is something you add to your resume. Absolutely. Now, are you musical at all? You said you sing, too. You've sung. Can you um, sing? Or have you played any instruments or any of that? I. I. If not, that's fine. I just want to. You know, I can sing. Okay. I mean, everyone can sing. Not you well. Know? But you but still like, have a pretty voice. Thank you. I, I would like to take singing lessons just to. Um, yeah, then you can to be you know, better, when you, so that I can say yes, I can sing confidently. That, right, I understand. And then there might okay, then you then you might have an opportunity to sing in a film too. Exactly. And you know, sing you know maybe an opera an opera role or something. something. Actually, but it's interesting that you're saying I know because my favorite movie I have two, Labyrinth. Yep. So random, I know. So random, right? Yep. And um, Phantom of the Opera. My dream in my life, like my life goal is to play Christine Daae, but I could never sing like that, so I'll never be able to play that. It's well, fine. That's when you take singing lessons, so maybe you can. I don't know. Uh, th those would be miracle lessons, but I mean, I will, I will hold up. Life is full of miracles every day. There, thank you. That's you know what? You're right. Yeah. He's right. In fact, I'm doing the show with autism is a miracle. It's uh, d very true. Well, yeah. You do an amazing job. So thank many you. people are happy to be here. And, and by the way, on that note, we're under five minutes. What? We're under five minutes to make. We, we're almost. We're almost done with the show. We're under five minutes to go. Oh, you're kidding! I didn't even know. Well, we made the time go by. You know, so yeah. like I told you at the beginning, what I want you to do is look at the camera now. Give give a few shouts out to people that are going to see the show. Condense them. 
and then we'll wrap the show up the way we did with my music. Okay. Um, you can snap again with me as long as you don't bang the table. Wait, let me think All right, really not, quick. Cool. If not, that's fine. You know, you don't have to. There's a lot well, of no, I'm just trying to think about yourself. anything. I know that's what I'm scared about. Like if I missed anybody. Don't but... worry about it. They'll forgive you. They know you're here, so. <laughs> um. Well, it's okay. I'm the worst. If you, if you okay. blank, what do I do? Go. What do I do? I was gonna say you shout <laughs> out, but if you if you can't, what, what about uh, I don't know? There's a don't worry about it. If you can't think of anything. No, I but, but like, do I just look at the camera and like? Yeah, exactly. Say say, say okay. hi to your family if you want your parents. <laughs> um, really remember them. Yes. Okay. Definitely. <laughs> okay. Um, I just want to say a big thank you to Harrison, obviously, for having me on his wonderful show. I'm, I'm excited to see it. Okay. Um, and <laughs> I, I, the list would be way too long to okay. thank everybody, but um, I just want to say a huge thank you to everybody who has helped me get to where I am. Now, that may not be huge for most people, but um, where I am right now, I'm, I'm doing what I love, and that's really all that matters, so I'm, I'm really happy. Thank you to everybody who helps me with auditions, even though I know they don't want to, and um, who believes in me enough to put me in their projects. It means so much, and I, I hope that you know, you'll look back and you'll be proud, because I'm really happy to work with everybody. That was like the best tribute to people who's, who went nameless that I've ever heard. <laughs> Thank you. All right, and the last thing before we wrap it up is there, um, I, I know if there's any, if you had a good time with me, you obviously did, I'm guessing. Yeah. I want you to you know, spread the word about Topic Time, your friends, Maggie, Patricia, whatever. I, I yeah. want to get her on the show for a while. Anybody that She's hasn't wonderful. The show, have them, you got my digits now, have them text me, we'll get them on as guests. Are we, I feel like I feel like there's things that we didn't talk about. Like I feel like we're missing things. Well, if there's something you want to talk, if you have something you want to bring up real quick, go ahead. What, is there, just go ahead. Think of something. If not, um, that's fine. I don't know. Cool. <laughs> I mean, is there, is more there, acting stuff. Like um. Like what? Okay. I don't know. I feel like you need, it's your show. You asked. No, no. Me. <laughs> well, what is it? I mean, what, what's more acting stuff? You got a lot of projects. You with Boston casting. Do you have any other? Do you have any other agencies you're working with currently? Yeah. Well, I mean, um, my agency. My agency is um, WSM Talent, and they're wonderful. Okay. Um, I have a bunch of great agents there, and um, I'm really happy to be signed with them. Okay. Um, I'm trying to think. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, well, put it this way. Here she is. Don't don't forget it. You're not going to forget this <laughs> beautiful girl here, right? Thank you. And whoever sees the show, and then next thing you know, you'll get signed with more people than you've ever imagined. Oh, thank you. Oh, you did a great job. Thank you're, you. You're an amazing lady, and I'm, I'm so, so happy that you, that you came out to do my show tonight. Thank you. Thank you so much for having me. And on that note, we're going to wrap it up. Are you ready to? Okay. Listen? All right, folks. Thanks for watching Talk of Time. More great episodes to follow. See you next time. Have a good one. Bye-bye.